Did you know, using the wrong type of current transformer, or CT, could lead to meter damage or even compromise the stability of your power system? Stay tuned to learn why metering CTs and protection CTs have distinct roles and why you should never interchange them. Current transformers, or CTs, are an integral part of power systems. They are broadly categorized into two types based on their application. Metering CTs, designed for accurate measurement during normal operating conditions. Protection CTs, designed to operate accurately during fault conditions. Each type of CT serves a unique purpose and using one in place of the other can have serious consequences. Let's discuss why. Protection CTs are designed to measure fault currents that are 10 to 20 times the rated current. Their primary job is to send accurate inputs to relays during fault conditions. The relay then decides whether to send a trip signal to isolate the faulty section. This is evident from the accuracy class of protection CTs, often labeled as 5P10 or 5P20. It means the CT maintains accuracy within plus or minus 5% when the current is 10 or 20 times the rated current. Another critical feature of protection CTs is their high knee point voltage, which ensures the core doesn't saturate even during high fault currents. But here's the issue. If a protection CT is used for metering, the accuracy under normal conditions won't meet the revenue grade standards. During a fault, the secondary current can reach 10 to 20 times the rated value, damaging the meter since meters aren't designed to handle such high currents. Now let's talk about metering CTs. These CTs are optimized for measuring currents accurately when the primary current ranges from 1% to 120% of the rated current. A unique feature of metering CTs is the instrument safety factor, or ISF, which protects meters during faults. For instance, if the ISF is 3, the CT core saturates when the primary current exceeds 3 times the rated current, limiting the secondary current to safeguard the connected meters. However, if a metering CT is used for protection purposes, the core will saturate during fault conditions, distorting the secondary current. This could cause the relay to malfunction, jeopardizing the power system's stability. In simple terms, metering CTs are designed to protect meters, not to handle the critical demands of relays during faults. So it's clear why protection CTs must be used for relays to ensure reliable fault detection. Metering CTs must be used for accurate energy measurement under normal conditions. Always use the right CT for the right application to maintain system reliability and avoid costly damages. If you found this explanation helpful, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. Click the join button to support us and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.